What's up guys, so I'm sunburned of the Wasu, um, even with putting sunscreen on and wearing a cowboy type hat. Uh, I still got burned pretty bad. My arms are both both toasted. Um, you kind of see the tan line right here from my watch. My neck is, is beyond burned. Um, we're at the point where if I touch it, it just hurts. <clears throat> so I wasn't going to make a video today. Um, and I was going to actually wait a few days to upload a vlog of me actually going camping. But um, to Mr. Andrew, um, he did comment that his uh, ELB teeth thread stripped. And so um, these look fairly... I opened this ELB teeth up before. Um, let me see if I can try to find a picture of it. I probably can't. Probably will not find a picture of this. Although I wish I did save that picture. No. Alright, so I can't find the picture of this torn apart, but um, from what I remember, this uh, center quote, the center 510 connecting pin is pretty easy to replace. Um, it looks exactly like one of these. Um, I actually already pre soldered these. So, um,. But, I mean, the inner connector looks kind of pretty much identical to this one. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I could just pop this one in here, popping this open. I wouldn't be surprised, but if it doesn't work, it might not work. Um, what I recommend it, though, if um, you're not comfortable with popping these open, then I suggest getting one of these 510 Ego adapters right here and just screwing her on and then now if that screws on then you're done you no longer have to use anything else you can just pop any kind of you any kind of um, atomizer or whatnot up in here although it will look funny it will look funny you're wrong but it will at least it'll, it'll work, right? Yeah, let me just see if that falls over the. So now you have this funny-looking thing like this, but at least it'll work. Okay, at least it'll work. And this will get you by. Now there's gonna be a time. When if you totally strip the bottom of your 510, not totally, but if you strip it to the point where an adapter won't fit, and um, I believe um, this is exactly how Andrew stripped this, stripped um, the center side of his ELBT, then this is what I recommend. What you're going to need is a little bit of solder. Okay, I got this from Radio Shack, I got a roll of this, um, a solder. What I'm going to do, and I actually have a stripped out top cap from a Sentinel M16. So, I have everything essentially what I need to, to put this together now. Um, this is what happens when I screw this in. I can actually screw it in like this, right? So, it does screw in. The problem is now that um, the threading on this top cap is, is so stripped that when I do tighten this up, it just pops right off. Okay, so this just, I didn't screw it to pop right off. So this threading is messed up. Um, what I could do, and what, what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to do it now, um, is I'm going to go ahead and show you what a little bit of soldering could do to kind of widen up your adapter thread, adapter thread. Um, that way you could actually do screw it in there. The only thing is once you have it in there, try not to take it back out. Just use this kind of as a permanent. The solder works, but the thing is what I've noticed is with the solder, it is much, much more of a pain in the ass to get it working right than it is with just, um, than it is with just aluminum foil, guys. 
So, um, as your setup is solder, the one I recommended, and I actually recommend some aluminum foil. Aluminum foil could actually be um, a man's best friend when it comes to vaping, just because it's so versatile, conducts electricity incredibly well. Um, there it is. So, what you do is you get a piece of aluminum foil, right? And all you need is such a minute amount. Um, Okay. There you go. A very minute amount of aluminum foil, and all you want to do is make sure I need less than this. So I'm going to fold this in half. And this could be done to widen up any post. Really, aluminum foil is is a vapor's best friend when it comes to um how versatile it is. <clears throat> and with just this little amount of aluminum foil, you just want to wrap it around the thread. This one, apparently, is not going to wrap around all the way, but again, even halfway around is all I really need. Let's cover one side of it. Just make sure it tucks in very well. Get your stripped whatever 510 connector you have in there. Make sure the aluminum foil does fit in just a little bit and screw her in like you're screwing in anything else. And that aluminum foil should have taken the slack out if it did not take it apart. Retry with. Ah, oh, see how perfect that is. Actually, I just need a little bit longer piece of aluminum foil. I'll go ahead and show it to you right now on camera. While we're here, before I dig into my delicious tiramisu and really just relax a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab me a longer, a longer piece here. Okay, out of my gigantic aluminum foil. Go ahead and fold this in half, just like before. Such, and then wrap it around the the 510 adapter or any really any atomizer if you want to keep it like there for a very long time. But I suggest just uh, just using one of these. After market um, atomizers, there you go. So once you've covered the whole thread like this, kind of push it in a little, get it tight on there. And then, with this aluminum foil, what's going to do is it's, it's going to make the thread a little bit wider. And that's exactly what you want. You want the aluminum foil to turn along with the um, B510. Wow. See, so no more wobbling right there. And um, huh, there you go. This was a stripped 510 top cap battery. It was completely stripped. Um, and with just that little bit of aluminum foil and that ad adapter, now I'm able to um, pretty much vape. All right. Again, just to be on the safe side, always check for shorts, guys. The last thing you want to do is vent the battery. Okay, so I'm good on that. Go ahead and screw on that top cap now um, of this. Pretty much fixed 510. It is on there really tight. The top cap is no longer popping off. Let's go ahead and grab an atomizer. Um, which atomizer? The Quasar? Uh, Quasar is more meant for DNA. So there's a higher there. Again, this is a higher ohm coil, but um, Andrew scrapped the solder idea because the, the freaking aluminum coil is so much easier 
and the solder. Um, and this is kind of how you fix your ELVT thread, really. All you would have to do is, um, the same thing happened with my um, Sentinel here. The top thread did, did end up stripping. Um, all I did was get a 510 to Ego adapter. I put some aluminum foil around that Ego adapter, and um, which made it wider. And it really fills in the part where it's stripped. Because even when you strip a, a top connector piece, there's still a little bit of threading there. A little bit of aluminum foil fixed it right up. And you'll be back to vaping in no time. I'm pretty sure. Yes. So the coils I wrapped in here is meant for a DNA. <laughs> it's an incredibly high ohm. Um, it'll take forever to ramp up on anything else. So let's go ahead and pop this off. Let's, let's pop an atomizer. Ah, perfect. And I go. And this thing, it should perform. And you can see I'm pulling it out pretty hard. And that 510 thread is just solid. Um, put a little bit of juice on this thing. Come on. Um, and with that very, very easy fix, um, very, very easy aluminum foil fix with the 510 adapter. As you can see now, you're blowing clouds. And I've just essentially fixed my 510 pin up here. Um, so the aluminum foil trick actually works for pretty much anything you need to elongate. Um, it works great for Nemesis switches. If you buy a clone that's not really has good tolerances and you need that center post widened up, um, or if you have a rice pin made out of paper that's too thin, you could wrap it around the aluminum foil a few times. I said aluminum foil is a vapor's freaking dream come true. And this thing, as, um, as low ohm as it is, you could tell that the aluminum foil did really fix her up right away. So um, it goes the same for something like this. Solder does work, but again, I'm doing it on camera and I've been having an ass of a time doing it and what makes it so much easier is just aluminum foil. Thanks for watching, hope this helps you guys um, fix your strip threads by just adding an adapter on there and get it working. If, um, if you really want to get into it, you could go ahead and take this apart, which I would probably do and replace that 510 connector, that is possible. Um, for something like this on a mechanical mod where you strip a thread and you can't replace the freaking um, 510 connector because it's the entire top cap and you really, really don't want to order another top cap because it's pretty much the same price as the freaking mod almost, then you could just do this. And I just showed you firsthand it works perfect, it was stripped, Strip fixed. Alrighty, thank you for watching.